Welcome back to Pop Dissected. Today, we're going to be discussing Kelly Clarkson's eighth studio record, The Meaning of Life, and why it seemed to fly under the radar for most, as well as the seeming underperformance it faced. I asked you all in a poll last week which record you'd like to see a video on, and The Meaning of Life received only 8% of the 6,500 plus votes. This, in a way, gave me more incentive to make a video on the record, as it really seems to be a record either many aren't aware of, haven't paid attention to, or just don't acknowledge. And in this video, we're gonna uncover why. But before we begin, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more future content on all your favorite pop stars. Let's start off with saying this. Kelly Clarkson is a hugely successful artist and arguably the most successful American Idol winner next to Carrie Underwood. Kelly has scored three number one records, Breakaway having sold 12 million copies worldwide as of 2018. She has 11 top 10 hits, three of them reaching number one on the Hot 100. She's also won three Grammy Awards, four American Music Awards, and three MTV VMA Awards. So it's clear there's no denying Kelly has had a very successful career. However, as with nearly every artist, there comes an inevitable point in their career where their sales, chart performance, and or notoriety start to decline. So let's dive right in and see why the meaning of life has seemingly flown under the radar for so many and ask ourselves, is Kelly Clarkson actually on a career decline? After winning the first season of American Idol way back in 2002, Kelly Clarkson signed to RCA Records. RCA had a partnership with another label, 19 Recordings, the partnership being supported by American Idol itself. Following the release of six studio records, Kelly had completed her contract with RCA and 19 Records. Therefore, she became free to sign to a new label. Now, you may be wondering, what about Wrapped in Red? That makes her total studio record releases amount to seven, right? While it does, her contract was for six studio records, and since Wrapped in Red was a holiday record, RCA and 19 Recordings didn't actually count that towards her six record deal. Before signing to her current label, Atlantic Records, Kelly's management struck up a deal to ensure she'd have much more creative freedom with her succeeding projects. Kelly described her previous contract as an arranged marriage, giving an insight that some of her efforts may have been lacking the creative freedom that she desired. It's been reported Kelly would fight with those at RCA, and likely it was over her own creative direction. It was officially reported in June of 2016 that Kelly had signed to Atlantic, with expectations of a new record in 2017. We learned then that this upcoming record would be an R&B and soul-inspired record, a departure from Kelly's usual pop rock sound. However, Piece by Piece was the first record to stray from her established image, a record being predominantly electro-pop. Going back to the comment of arranged marriage, it seems Piece by Piece was Kelly's first attempt to have creative freedom, and this upcoming record under Atlantic would be the continuation of that creative freedom. Also in June of 2016, it was revealed Kelly would be working with Peter Ganbarg, her A&R manager of her fourth studio record, All I Ever Wanted. A&R stands for Artist and Repertoire, and someone in that position essentially oversees the recording process, helps choose singles, and has a hand in managing promotion. With the success of All I Ever Wanted being a number one record with a number one single and two additional top 20 hits, this only spelled good news. Along with Peter Ganbarg, the CEO of Atlantic Records, Craig Kalman, would also do A&R for her upcoming record. The intention from the beginning for Meaning of Life was to make it a soul and R&B driven record, something Kelly stated she wanted to do for years but had no chance to do under RCA. Kelly stated taking on this new genre made her feel like a brand new artist, so we already know that this record for Kelly was a rebirth of sorts. For the first time in her career, Kelly was credited as an executive producer on Meaning of Life, along with Craig Coleman. Meaning of Life was officially scheduled for a June of 2017 release before being pushed back to October. So far, everything seems to be going well, minus the album delay. But once the single rollout begins, things start to get a bit shaky. The record's lead single, Love So Soft, was released on September 7th of 2017, alongside the promotional single, Move You. 
As discussed in my Camila Cabello video, a double release like this can really lead to some complications. A lead single, more or less, has the intention of being a big hit to draw interest into the record it's promoting. A number of factors can affect a lead single's performance, but when it essentially competes against another track by the same artist, this can sometimes be a disaster. Love So Soft peaked at 47 on the Hot 100, and only stayed on the Hot 100 for 13 weeks, Kelly's shortest run on the Hot 100 with a lead single. It's also her lowest charting lead single, even lower than Underneath the Tree from Wrapped in Red. However, the track did receive positive reception from music critics, claiming Love So Soft has the same punch as her other record openers. Another critic commented, Kelly has officially rejected the idea of who a pop star needs to be with this track. The video, releasing the same day as the single, also received praise. Move You didn't chart on the Hot 100, but peaked at 58 on the US Digital Songs chart, which is a component of the Hot 100. Now, with Move You not charting, you may be wondering, how was it even competition then against Love So Soft? Well, Love So Soft didn't peak at 47 on the Hot 100 until its eighth week on the chart. It debuted at 62, slowly climbing to 47. I think being released aside another song split sales and streams between the two songs. Of course, Love So Soft gained more traction, but I absolutely believe it had competition against Move You. Another factor to Love So Soft's performance is that Havana, Bodak Yellow, Rockstar, Sorry Not Sorry, and Look What You Made Me Do notably dominated the top of the charts at this time. So honestly, there wasn't a chance for Love So Soft to earn a top 10 debut or even reach that position. Love So Soft received a handful of live performances to promote the track, but it didn't seem to help the track's chart run that much. The second and third singles were I Don't Think About You and Heat, released February 9th of 2018 and July 27th of 2018, respectively. Both tracks also had a handful of live performances and both received positive reviews from critics. But despite this, both tracks failed to chart on the Hot 100, but he did earn the number one spot on the US Dance Club Songs chart. This isn't the first time a single off one of Kelly's records didn't make it into the Hot 100. It is the first time since her 2007 record, My December, that both the second and third single off the record did not chart. My December is her lowest selling record in the US, aside from Piece by Piece. However, the latter was released a lot more recently, so it makes sense the sales wouldn't be on par or higher than the former. So it seems with Meaning of Life singles, we're taking a step back to her lowest performing era in terms of chart placement and record sales. But even My December managed to have a top 10 hit, its lead single, Never Again, peaking at number eight on the Hot 100. Meaning of Life debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 with 79,000 album equivalent units and 68,000 pure sales. Now, this is by no means bad. Kelly's biggest record, Breakaway, peaked at number three on the Billboard 200. However, Breakaway had the hit songs behind it, such as Since You've Been Gone and Because of You. Meaning of Life didn't have that hit song associated with the record, and I think you can look at this as one of two ways. One being, Meaning of Life still did well despite not having the hit single to support the record. Or two, the number two position on the Billboard 200 is a signal of decline because the record didn't have the hit single to back it up. Meaning of Life spent only 20 weeks on the Billboard 200 charts, spending just two weeks more on the chart than My December. So we can see even once more the comparison between that record and Meaning of Life. Kelly seemingly appears to be on a decline, matching the success of arguably her poorest performing record in terms of record sales, single charting, and record charting. For comparison, all her other studio records spent 39 weeks or more on the Billboard 200, including Wrapped in Red, a holiday record, and her greatest hits compilation. Kelly embarked on the Meaning of Life tour from January 24th, 2019 until March 30th of that same year. Despite only having 28 shows, the tour raked in $17.5 million, becoming her highest grossing tour, being entirely sold out. So we can see, despite two of the record singles not charting and the record having a short run on the Billboard 200, Kelly still had the relevance and power to have an entirely sold out tour. 
Now, the meeting of life era seemed long, but all in all, the promotion was pretty standard and paled in comparison to the promotion of many other popular artists out there. And sure, you could blame Atlantic Records or her A&R people or even Kelly herself, but looking at it, it's due to Kelly's commitments to her own talk show, being a mentor on The Voice and having her own family. With all that going on, she's juggling a lot, but she still managed to achieve success. So to compensate for the short run of the Meaning of Life tour, Kelly announced Kelly Clarkson Invincible, her first Las Vegas residency, which will run from April 1st of 2020 until September 26th of that same year. But through it all, Meaning of Life has been praised and recognized for its central theme of connection and living in the moment. The record was highlighted as Kelly's most cohesive effort yet in being a successful reinvention. The record earned two Grammy nominations and landed on 10 year-end list of 2017. So with all this evidence, we have to go back to our central question. Is Kelly Clarkson actually on a decline in her career? Personally, I'm gonna have to say, not at all. Meaning of Life didn't have a hit song that brought attention to the record. Thus, it went unnoticed by many people. Now, of course, her fans know of the record, but without that big hit single, most general audiences were not aware of the record since there wasn't a big song to bring attention to it. With all of Kelly's commitments and balancing a professional and personal life, I believe Meaning of Life just didn't get all the promotion and push it could have gotten. And there's nothing wrong with that. Life should be a balance between work and your own personal endeavors. With the accolades Meaning of Life has received, it's clear Kelly is still in the eye of many professionals and they recognize her for her talent and her hard work. So even if the record didn't have a massive hit single or bring in a stronger debut than its predecessor, Piece by Piece, Meaning of Life still had power to it. I attribute this not only to Kelly's incredible and arguably underrated talent, but the fact she reinvented herself in a way that was authentic. She's always wanted to do an R&B and soul inspired record. So this transition was 100% authentic for her. She wasn't chasing trends and she wasn't desperate to be something she wasn't. Critics saw the honesty in Meaning of Life. Kelly is 37 and she's still going strong in her career. Even if she may have reached her career peak, she's still generating acclaim and award recognition. In an industry that's very ageist, especially against women, this is remarkable for her. As of May of this year, Kelly confirmed her ninth record was in development, and it's a mix of Meaning of Life, Stronger, and Breakaway. So we can see Kelly is keeping that wonderful soul sound that she's been so excited to create, but will be channeling the pop rock sound that thrust her into the mainstream. With the success of Stronger and Breakaway, and the positive reception of all three of the aforementioned records, we very well may see Kelly earn a number one record under Atlantic, and hopefully have an amazing hit song behind it. But whether the record achieves immense success or moderate, all I'm hoping is Kelly is able to truly create an authentic vision and continue being vulnerable, honest, and powerful in her music. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more future content on all your favorite pop stars.